everybody welcome back to my channel you're watching real life with Michelle and I'm Michelle have you ever felt one like everything is racing your brain is racing you're thinking of so many things your brain is just racing my brain is racing today and I need to like slow my brain down slow it down I just got my nails done and I'm now on my way to the Dollar Tree because I heard they have those red trucks um, decor. If they have them, I'll show them to you. But my daughter's getting married next year, and I'm going to go see what they have. It's Christmas decor that see if we could transform it into something else for maybe a wedding decoration or something. Well, I'm having no luck. No luck at all in year. Not a few things, but no red trucks. Now I need cat food. Should I buy cat food at the dollar store? I don't know. That's an iffy thing. Let's, they don't even have cat food. So I guess it's... No. It's not, I don't know. Alright, I found one red truck thing too. Look at There's a red truck and there's a red truck. I bet you it's sold out. Found some red trucks, but that won't work for her wedding. I will keep looking. Maybe they're hiding somewhere. I don't know. Okay, let's continue on our journey. Oh, here's another Christmas display with no red trucks, of course. I'm going to take a guess. These were right there. I'm just going to take a guess. Because there's all their Christmas stuff, and I'm betting that they were right there. Well, that was a bust. There's no red truck stuff. So, I asked the, the sales clerk, I said, did you have red truck stuff here for Christmas? Um, I don't know. Okay. Are you going to get another truck in before Christmas of more Christmas stuff? Probably. When does your next truck come in? I don't know. They're always, I don't know. Well, do you have a, like an estimate date? No, because they're always late. So I don't know. They might come. I, I don't know when they come. Okay. Well, I guess I'm going to try back like in a few days and see, or maybe call in. Oh, they'll probably give me the same answer. Okay. I've got my nails done. Mm, there they go. Oh, there they are. They're just pink. I like them short. I like them really short. I tell the lady, when you think they're short, I like them shorter. And they know me pretty well, but and the lady, that's another thing. The lady that did my nails, the top of her head with the light shining, you could see like puddles of grease on top. I've never ever in my life seen puddles of grease on top of a person's head. The lights were shining and it, it was the, it was really shiny. You could you could actually see these puddles of grease. I'm, um, she looked clean other than her hair, but I've never in my and it was real chunky at the top, you know, like you needed to wash your hair, but I, the puddles of grease is what got me. Never ever have I seen puddles of grease in hair. You guys see that? You see that? I'm going to have to bite the bullet. I'm going to have to bite the bullet and put air in my tires. I usually like my air around 27 pounds, 26 pounds in this car because it less it, the, the bumps go a lot easier for me. Let me tell you, I hate my car. I absolutely hate my car. I've had it a year. I kick myself every time I think about why I traded my other car in. I used to have a Chevy Traverse, and now I have a Nissan Rogue. It was a spur of the moment decision buy. I'd never buy a car like this, never, ever, ever. I usually take months to research cars to see what I like, see what I don't like, I drive them, and then I buy a car. Well, this was, my husband was getting a new truck, and I thought, I saw this little car sitting there, and I'm like, oh, that is really cute, I want a car too, and he said, okay. So, I took this out for a test drive, in one of those stupor moments, 
and thought, all right, I'm going to buy this car. Well, let me tell you, I hate this car. I hate this car. It's nice. It would be nice for somebody else. It gets good gate. It gets great gas mileage, but it has this low profile tires and it's smaller and compact than my Chevy Traverse. And I feel every stinking darn bump I go over. I hate this car. I hate this car. It, usually if I know if I have the kids and I'm going to take them somewhere or something, I'll take my husband's truck. And everywhere we go, me and my husband, we take his truck because it rides much better than this Nissan Rogue. I hate my car. I hate my car. I hate my car. Other than that, I mean, it would be a nice car for somebody that maybe would like it. <laughs> I don't know, but I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I turn it. Thankfully, it's a lease. I don't normally lease vehicles. I'm kicking myself for doing that. I wish I would never, ever. I own my Traverse. Stupid decision. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Take your time when you buy a car. If you own the car, keep the car. If you like the car, I don't know, paint it, make it different. But some, but I have this car for another year. I know I'm rambling. I know that. I'm rambling. I know that. I have this car for another year. And I'm going to look into something bigger. Because this, this ain't it, sis. This ain't it. Alright, let's go home. Alright, I'm home. I'm tired. I am just like exhausted tired I don't know I want to show you guys what I got I slept all night last night too okay look at this all right frozen 2 is coming out and my granddaughter is Claire my granddaughter's going to see it so I got her coloring book I'm surprised that the Dollar Tree had frozen 2 and then I got my grandson this Hot Wheel one because of course it wouldn't be fair if I got one a coloring book and not the other they had a big, 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 like, Superman one, that, or Spider-Man one that he would have really liked, but it was a big jumbo one, and if I get a big jumbo, it wouldn't be fair. One would be bigger than the other, there would be a problem, somebody would fight about it. I'm not wanting to do that. Alright, so then I got this paint set. I thought this was cute. I'm going to pick up my grandson Thursday, and I told him I would, we'll do something, so we're going to paint that little scarecrow. All right. Oh, frozen. Frozen matching cards. So I got these too. So we could play a game. And then frozen playing cards because who doesn't need these in your life? These are all for a dollar. Frozen too. Dollar Tree. Then next Thursday when I pick up my grandson from school. I'm going to do that every Thursday because I just want to. I got these coloring sets because he loves Mickey Mouse. He loves him some Mickey. So this is going to be next Thursday's thing. Also, I got me some reading glasses. Look. These are only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And they're, they have dark, they have different color, different styles. But I lose them all the time. Or they break so I buy these at the Dollar Tree only they break they break so much that I'm always replacing them or losing them or my husband finds them in the driveway or my kid, grandkids are wearing them you know so a dollar at the Dollar Tree go get those I'm getting ready to film a video I think now this video I'm gonna film is really hard for me to do and I've thought about it and prayed about it. And it's like, I'm going to do it. I'm going to film it. It's about the abuse that I went through. And I'm going to talk in detail about some of the situations that happened to me. And I might make it a two-part video. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see how long I, I start. You know, once I start talking, I might just ramble. I don't know. But this is going to be a hard video for me to film because it's kind of taken me back to all that crap that I went through. And I believe me, I went through crap. I went through crap. I've had stitches and gotten hurt and been heartbroken. And All right, well, I'm going to end this video here so I can do the other one. 
here. <laughs> my little filming setup. Look at, I got my piano bench with this little thing that I have with my iPad on top of that just to make it a little higher. And I'll sit here and I'll probably put the dog away because he likes to bother me. And the cats are eating, so they're content. It's like having little toddlers. It's like having little toddlers. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. If you liked all this rambling I did today, a bunch of nothing, we just did a bunch of nothing today. If you like my rambling, subscribe to come back for more. Like the video too. All right, who knows what I'll film next. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Thank you.